first game being number one seeded not versus number one seeded Kings of Urban. So that one is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, the number one spot being a three-way tie in the last power rankings between not uh, Cosmic and uh, Kings of Urban. So this one is going to be really huge for power rankings, which will be starting up next week as we've got two number one seeds for the first time ever, I think, going up head-to-head -head in the Pro League, the biggest stage out there uh, as of today. Yeah, I mean, there is a... You know, there's a lot that these players are going to have to focus on here, not just for the, you know, the power rankings, which is always good and has a lot of effect because it's the only games that they're probably going to be playing throughout most of the week. But every single win matters so, so much, and especially when you're matched up against a team that really stands to be, like, that team to shut you down or that team that could beat you out. You know, you want to get big wins here. You want to make a statement and I think that that's certainly what they're going to be capable of doing here. Yeah, now we're going to get Not versus KOU. So we are now done with the EU region. We're going to be starting up with the NA region uh, as we get the teams in here. Number one, Kings of Urban, consisting of Jacob, Fireburner, and Moses going against, uh, against uh, Never on Target, also known as Not, consisting of Low Five Classics and Kyle Mask. And uh, Kings of Urban just recently won the ESL Monthly Final, which... If you guys were tuned in yesterday, you could have seen that happen. Uh, Kings of Urban uh, taking it all the way to Game 7 and having to come back against Nexus with a really, really great performance. So uh, this one is very important to power rankings. Kings of Urban looking really good uh, as of late. Uh, and uh, So <laughs> I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, I mean, it, that, that is going to be probably one of the highlight games here. Um, I think we're actually... I'm a little confused, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Whatever game we bring you next is going to be exciting. It's going to be awesome. There's going to be a lot of uh, really, really fun stuff in store. Yep. So uh, just a little bit about each team. Uh, the only uh, Sarp vet on Kings of Urban is Fireburner. His uh, favorite car is the Dominus. Uh, he is very high rated in Solo 3s, as you can see. And he founded Kings of Urban in 2009. <laughs> so uh, he is the only Sarp vet and also... Um, for Kings of Urban, we've got uh, Jacob, who will be rocking the breakout. He is not a Sarp vet, and uh, a little bit about him, he really hates Wasteland. So we'll see <laughs> if, if uh, King or if not picks Wasteland to uh, kind of push his buttons. And then finally, we've got Moses, who will be rocking the Octane. And uh, ever since he joined Kings of Urban, he has been the kickoff slave. So uh, that'll be pretty interesting. And then going over to the not side, those of you who uh, know Low5, Low5 is a very popular streamer, has uh, very entertaining streams and also really helpful uh, tut tutorial series on uh, how to play Rocket League, how to do moves like dribbling, which is the one you see on the main menu in Rocket League right now. But uh, he's going to be rocking the hot shot. He is not a Sarp vet, and uh, every tournament he plays in a lucky pair of jorts. Oh, well, that's good. As long as they're lucky. I think that is, uh, that is the important thing. <laughs> you know, you got to have lucky stuff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, looking at everything, that particular matchup certainly stands out as one of the, the highlight ones to watch. Um, you know, just because they are, as of the last power rankings, tied in that number one spot. Um, All right, so it looks like we are going to get a little bit of a change here. Uh, never on target. Kings of Urban not ready just yet. So we are going to go with another matchup, which will be uh, SNK versus Nexus. Nexus, as we said, just competing in the ESL monthly final. So uh, this will be a very good match. Um, SNK Esports, they were a little bit of, uh, you know, a, a struggle, or had a little bit of a struggle recently. Uh, it was questionable whether or not they'd make it into the Pro League, but they had a huge uh, performance in the qualifier, leading to them uh, securing the spot. Nexus Esport, Esports has also uh, been struggling as of late, but did have a very, very strong performance in that ESL Monthly Final, taking Kings of Urban all the way to a Game 7 with Insolences. Uh, subbing in for Waffle, and now Insolence is also subbing into uh, in, subbing in for Pluto today. So we will mm -hmm. see Nexus with a sub, but uh, all of SNK, none, none of them are uh, veterans. So that's going to be interesting how that plays out. 
yeah, it's, it's it's always a very interesting thing to look at to see you know which teams are going to kind of stand out in particular if they haven't had that battle cars experience. And, you know, are they going to come into this? Are they going to be that sort of dominating team? Uh, or, you know, what, you know, what exactly is going to happen? Will the experience pay out? Or, you know, we know for a fact that, um, you know, SNK has the, certainly has the skill set uh, to take a game or two here, maybe even take the majority. You know, we don't know for sure. And it's going to depend on what type of Nexus team we get. You know, as we saw in that series against Kings of Urban, they did exceptionally well at the start, you know, taking, a hand, taking those three games, but the tilt started to happen, and it was pretty significant. So it'll be something to watch here to see how SNK will respond to what Nexus does. I think that's going to be a big, you know, a, a big factor here. Absolutely. And <laughs> some fun facts about the SNK crew. Uh, this one is my favorite. Uh, Flo... When he was younger, I guess he's still pretty young. He had to go to a scared straight program for TPing somebody's house. So <laughs> I would have loved to see that. I hope he showed those uh, showed those guys in jail Rocket League so they could uh, start living a better, happier life. But uh, as for Ozzy, um, Ozzy's first RL tournament was the Rocket Tourney Cup number two, and and they won it. So that's a pretty big deal. And also, a little fun fact about Husky. Me and Husky are actually going to be hitting the slopes in Colorado uh, next month, so that's going to be fun. Oh, very nice. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. So we're getting the teams invited in here. We've got SNK waiting on the last player of Nexus to join. But, uh, Shalthus, what do you think this game uh, has in store for us between SNK and Nexus? Well, you know, just based off what we've seen, we know that Nexus has been and is a very top tier team. They're a team that has been in the very top of the power rankings. They've challenged the best in the world. They've challenged the best in North America. Uh, and they've done so rather consistently. Uh, they did take that long break, especially during the Rocket Royale period, um, where just due to, you know, the trouble of scheduling, unfortunately, they weren't able to re-qualify after failing to make it through the first week. So we didn't see much of them for a long time. Um, but, you know, I, I, I think the thing I'm most interested in seeing here is really if... Um, yeah, it looks like we do have front. the players <laughs> finally joining up so we can get started here. The first map of the day, let's see what they picked. It is going to be Urban Day. Uh, so that will be fun. We've got the players... Here, joined up, and we're going to get that started. This is the first series. We've got number eight seeded SNK versus the number four seed Nexus, although Insolence is, is going to be subbing in today for Pluto. So not the full Nexus squad, so we'll see how that affects them. Uh, but SNK does have uh, quite a bit of work ahead of them as even this exact team. Actually, uh, Insolence is subbing in for Waffle in the grand final of the uh, ESL monthly final, they were still mm -hmm. able to take Kings of Urban all the way to game seven. So uh, this is a very talented team. Insolence is also known as Dekar Moody or Modi. I'm not sure how he says that, but he is a very talented player. So this by no means is going to be a cakewalk for SNK. And now we're getting this loaded up, getting it started. And uh, what is the first game in the NA Rocket League Central Pro League uh, week one tournament? Well, not so much a yeah. tournament, but a, a league. So. <laughs> a league, yeah. First NA division matchup today. So this should be exciting. I, I think it stands to be a pretty good matchup. And I certainly know that the favorite is probably leaning towards being Nexus. Um, but I'm always in the mood to see upsets or to see unexpected you know, results. And I think we could potentially see that here, knowing what we know of what SNK is capable of, knowing what we've seen from Flo and what we've seen from Ozzy. So the potential is there, but with a start like that. Yep, so we see already Nexus getting on the board with Insolences, uh, passing it right off the post to Waffle, who comes in and hits that one in. So a little bit of a shaky start here for SNK Apollo, but Nexus has to be happy about how this one's kicked off. That's true. I mean, it's a great start. Oh, that's a bad play on the clear. Flo's going to try and get in there. Unfortunately, does disrupt it. Now they're playing forward. I, I don't think it'll be just a complete, you know, lopsided affair or anything like that. You know, as I said, I think we, we, we know what these teams are capable of. We remember from the days of Apollo 11 what this team is capable of. 
Um, and despite the, you know, adjustments to the roster and things like that, they're still a very capable squad. So I'm interested to see how they fare against Nexus. But right now, oh. it, is, it is definitely the Lachinio show. Yeah, so you can see Insolences does get a hit out into the mid. Beautifully done. Flo not having enough boost to get there. Lachinio then just getting right past Flo, knocking that one into the net. So we've got 2-0 and less than a minute in in favor of Nexus. Yeah, so that's a big start for Nexus. It's really going to help them, again, set the pace, control the game. And as far as SK goes, or, uh, sorry, SNK goes, oh, that beautiful is the sort of setup. that they need. So that you can exactly see the Flo bounce that right past two players and gets it past the third right there. So Flo beat all three players and put that ball right into the mid for Husky to finish off. So great play by Flo, getting that ball over to Husky for the score. Yeah, stellar ball control on the part of uh, of uh, Flo there just to set that play up and allow Husky to get the finish. I mean, it's really as good as it gets. That's the type of playmaking you want to have happen. And hopefully SNK can carry this forward and, uh, you know, maybe force a tie here, make these games interesting. That's always the fun part, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So Flo with a big hit there, trying to set up a teammate off the backboard. The Waffle trying to break up the play. Flo does get a pack into the mid, but nobody for SNK is there to make a play. Yeah, so despite the attempt, so far it's not really panning out too well. And right now, a little bit of a mistake on the part of SNK. They're kind of bunching themselves up together. Uh, I think if they can spread out a bit, maybe cover more of the field, they might be able to shut down some of these offensive chances that I'm sure we're going to be seeing more of from Nexus, especially Lachinio, who Ozzy finally has to react to to make a play on there. But Yeah, you can see a uh, big save there by Ozzy, who is... Very defensive-minded player. Oftentimes, you will see him in the back for SNK. And going for a pass into the mid, he does get it. Flo not oh. able to do much with it, but still SNK on the attack. Yeah, they're keeping the ball in the blue side of the pitch. They're preventing Nexus from doing much with it. And Flo, with a great shot here, gets the tying goal. You're yeah. going to see Ozzy contests that clear attempt, and then Flo just tracks it. Reads off it the in. wall, yeah. He went off the wall to get that hit, but Ozzy coming up clutch there with the stuff. It bounced straight off the ceiling. Flo being ready for that, but good teamwork there by Ozzy and Flo in the corner to get that goal uh, as it's not an easy angle to get one from there. So props to those guys for tying it up. Now 2-2 SNK versus Nexus. Yeah, I mean, this is a great start so far for both of these teams. Uh, it's showing that we've we've clearly got a good formula here. And, oh, a big shot by Husky. This is a piercing shot. Lachinio tries to get the clear, but it ends up being just a perfect setup. Yeah, that Husky was in a very tough position there. Husky put that upper 90, uh, really not giving Nexus enough time to make the play in that. So very good uh, positioning there by Husky on his shot. So we'll see Flo <laughs> missing that one. Does get it on that second chance. Husky going up to try to hit this. We'll see how that plays off. Insolences shuts down that play. But still SNK on the attack. All players missing right there. The ball just bouncing helplessly in the mid. A back pass by Insolences. Oh, and That's good teamwork. Nice. Wow. Oh, what a beautiful team play by Nexus. All starting from the back pass from Insolences. Licinio over to Waffle. Waffle sets it for Licinio. And now it goes in. So beautiful team play by Nexus. And that ties it up 3-3. Yeah, that is just an outstanding setup uh, on the part of Nexus. Really good team play. And that kind of team play is the kind of stuff that will carry you throughout this season, to say the least. But as it stands right now, I mean, both teams are looking excellent. A good tying goal there. Um, but, you know, it's all going to come down to who actually picks up this win and really sets the tone for the rest of the series. I, I think that's what I'm most excited about. And the fact that this game has already been so close, despite the fact that I think a lot of people thought Nexus was just going to run away with it, does tell us a lot and tells us that SNK is, you know, a little bit more of a dangerous team than I think some people are giving them credit for. But it's all going to matter on how this finishes, less, you know, how the rest of it goes. But Absolutely. So uh, after this game, we will restart the stream. We have had some reports of lag. So we will restart the stream, see if that helps. If not, we can always uh, have Shaltus kick this one up and see if that helps it. 
But uh, we'll get that going after this. But right now we've got a very close game. 3-3 between Nexus and SNK. This one's neck and neck. We've got just a minute left in this first game of this five-game series. So far, so good. Still tied, so it's a matter of who's going to get the break. And oh, a big break for Nexus there. They just kind of force this shot into the net, and, and the defense kind of falls apart a little bit on SNK's side. Flo can't quite react to it. Nobody can get to it directly. And uh, a late game lead could be all it takes for uh, for Nexus here to to take this the rest of the way. Absolutely. So now Nexus up 4-3, just under a minute to go. SNK has to respond. Flo putting a shot on net, but Licinio is there for a big clear. And that's getting past Ozzy, oh. and that's just going to bounce in, and that's going to be all she wrote. <laughs> In this game, two minutes or two goals with under a minute left. You can see Lachino with a big hit. Ozzy trying to drive backwards, not able to get the save, and that one just bounces yep. right in. He's misplayed that, unfortunately, but a good clear on the part of Lachino, and that gives Nexus this insurance lead. Only 43 seconds, and unless SNK does some miracle work here, I think uh, game one is certainly going to go in favor of the, uh, the favorite team. At least the team that everybody expected to probably take a, a good lead here. But, uh, yeah, with only 30 seconds left, it's going to be a little hard for SNK to come back and, and, and get back in this game. But still four more matches, or four more games left in the series, which is always good. And based off what I'm seeing so far, it's oh, certainly capable in there. Yeah, a response from well, Ozzy. 12 seconds left, plus zero second time. Could be some of that late game magic. I don't know if SNK has the ability to uh to carry that in but we're gonna find out yep, so just 12 here. seconds left snk needs to make a move yeah, they're trying to put something together but time is uh their worst enemy and that's going to no it's not it okay yeah it is sorry <laughs> i <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna like be it, it. so the ground but it yeah, did we are going to restart the stream real quick hopefully that helps some of the uh, problems that people have been reporting so we will not start this next match just yet so we're going to be going down for just a moment as we try to fix that lag issue so thank you guys for watching we will be back in just a moment we're going live